Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video because I get one question more than any other question it seems like. I get this question on my Facebook and my videos and everywhere and that is what is the best brand? Who's good? Who's not? And one common trend that you'll see across our industry is most heating and air guys can just about all agree that the brand matters less than who installs it. So the installation or who installs it matters more than what brand you select. Of course, we all have our preferences. We may disagree on who's the best, but ultimately we can all agree that usually the installer matters more than the brand that they install. And so the question becomes, I've actually gotten this question, what does that mean? What does it mean to have a bad installer versus a good installer? And that's what this video is going to cover. In fact, if you found this video, we're gonna do a series of videos where we're gonna talk about bad installations, bad installers, and some examples that you as the homeowner can sniff out and find if you're getting a good installation or not. So check out this video, but check out the whole entire series and our goal is to arm you to help you figure out if you're getting a good installation or not. Stay tuned. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about contracts and more importantly, bad contracts. Contracts that don't go over what it's supposed to. I can tell you that in the state of Virginia, I know every state is different, but in the state of Virginia, there's actual things that our trade department, Department of Occupational Regulations, that they say has to be in that contract if you're doing some sort of work for a homeowner. But we see all the time where homeowners will have systems installed in their home and they won't even have a contract contract in place. It's not just to protect the company themselves, it's also to protect you as the homeowner so that way you have something in writing if something wasn't installed right or something like that, something in writing from both parties knowing that there's a contract in place. We see folks all the time hiring folks that are not insured or not licensed properly, guys doing side work and then when they have issues in their home they want to go after the guy and there's not a whole lot you'll be able to do. If the guy isn't a licensed and insured company, you're not going to have the same grounds or protection that you would if you were to have hired a licensed and insured company. If you're not sure if that company's licensed and insured, ask them for it. I've never been offended by a homeowner asking me to see my trade license or my insurance. And if anybody is offended by that, there might be a reason for that. We used to call them side job bobs or staying in the van, chucking a truck, whatever you want to call them. But these guys, when they do stuff on the side, you as the homeowner are not properly protected. Going with the cheapest bid is not always for your best interest and it could develop more issues down the road. If a price is too good to be true, there might be a reason for that. So just make sure you have a contract in place. It doesn't even have to be a super crazy one. I think our contract is pretty in depth. Again, it's there to protect us, but it's also there to protect the homeowner. Our contract says, look, that we're licensed and insured and that we're doing our part and all that good stuff. So you wanna make sure, even if it's a simple one, have that contract in place and then go from there. In this video, we're going to talk about sounds. And I know in this day and age, as we've progressed and years have gone by, systems have gotten quieter and there are times when you have to even walk right up to the system to even know if it's running. But with that said, if the system is not installed properly or if things are just not thought of ahead of time, you could have issues with sounds when it comes to your heating and air system. So let's go over some of the sounds that you might hear in your home if the system was not installed properly. One sound that we hear from time to time is homeowners that had a company install the outdoor unit way too close to a bedroom. And again, 
systems are a lot quieter than they used to be. If you're getting an inverter system, they're even quieter, but they still put off some sort of noise at times. Maybe they go into defrost or maybe this or that. Things that you would have avoided, even if it's a sound that isn't super loud, it's still a sound that you wouldn't have heard if the system wasn't installed near that bedroom. Another sound that we'll hear sometimes, especially if the ductwork is not sized properly, are thumps or bangs in the ductwork. So you'll hear like a bang, you know, and it's what it is, it's, it's the ductwork work kind of like bouncing back and forth or whatever as air is being pulled in and it's expanding and contracting and it's almost like a giant version of a spaghetti lid you know where you're right where that metal bounces back and forth ductwork can do that too if it's not sized properly or installed properly you'll hear that same problem with ductwork sometimes it's easily fixable but other times it actually might be telling you that there's a huge issue like it was undersized to start with hope that helps thanks for watching the last thing i'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in virginia in the middle peninsula or the northern neck Give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.